Ah, the rat. So it has a name. It had a name. That's the line? That's the fucking line. <laughs>
Yeah. So, all right. I'm not going to take the nunchucks out because I'm afraid yeah. to break it. And but like I'll I'll bring it up close here. He does have nunchucks, and I for and when I was looking at this for the moment there, I thought, why does he have nunchucks? Then I remember he used nunchucks against uh, Sh uh, Shredder. Because Michelangelo's nunchucks. Well, he dropped. He dropped. He Michelangelo dropped one of his nunchucks. He, oh, he threw it over. Uh, and landed on the uh, fire escape ladder. Yep. And he doesn't have a foot peg, so. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Now, one thing, Splinter does not come with extra hands. I'm a now it does have, and if we can zoom in on here, <laughs> it it looks like it does have the options to actually take his hands out, but it probably doesn't. I'm not gonna try it. We're not gonna try it. But yeah, um, I think he can hold the nunchucks. Um, this is this is actually really cool material. I like I like how dirty it the is. The only main difference between this set of figures and then a San, Di San Diego Comic-Con is that there was a little cardboard box into a... Is that yours or mine? No, it was both of ours. Um, but yeah, so so let's go ahead and look at articulation. And Okay, that's just the boxes over there hitting that light. That's fine. Does that help? No, it's the Bebop and Rocksteady box. <laughs> Actually, it's not the Bebop. Whatever. It doesn't matter. People don't care. No, people don't care. So, so articulation-wise. Okay. Now, he has, uh, again, double joints in the knees. Actually, no, he has a single joint. It's a single joint in the knee. So, yeah, in terms of him... He's like, an, he's like an old rat, so he shouldn't have, like, a whole lot of movement. Yeah, he has... He Yeah, they, that, they've done a pretty good job. Um, arm articulation. There is an arm joint here. But it's restricted because of the cloth. So he can't do a whole lot of movement here. There's a lot of movement here, though. Head does a 360 spin. Um, the mouth does not open. That would have been super cool if the mouth opened up. But, you know, you can't be too picky about it. I mean, it is only a $25 figure. Originally, was pre-ordered at $35. I'm glad they decided to change that price. Yeah, because no, of, out of all the figures, he comes with the least number of accessories. He is the least um, terms of mobility. Um, I don't even think he. I think he stands okay. No, he actually does not stand. Well, I think you have to kind of work on the same. Yeah, he has the tail, but still. He has the tail. Um, I'm not gonna try no, to do it. The, the San Diego Comic Con came with uh, chains to uh, put on his hands up, and then like a well, well actually it was a card, a little card piece of cardboard. You could form into like the crate he was standing on when he was a prisoner for from shredder or other right. shredders. but again to make it different they kept you know cut that out yeah to make it exclusive to san diego they kept that stuff but i'm sure you can go online and download uh yeah they're probably easy to find um feet articulation actually has double joints in the feet um in turn at the toes and heels are they not yep toes and heels he has double he has one at the ankle and then one at the toes like right in the middle, so it's not a whole lot of articulation. Actually, it's it's barely any movement. I mean, it's one of those things where you want to move it very gently. And same thing we've talked about before with NECA figures. You want to be very, very careful as you're moving these. Uh, uh, you use hot well, water um, or or like a like a like a fan, like a like a little blow dryer or something to yeah, dryer to, set to heat it up, heat. low heat and stuff. Um, these ones might be alright, um, and just like the other ones, the turtles might be fine now. But basically, if you kind of you know. That's what people I've heard people breaking them and stuff because they try to force them. And yeah. And neck has come out. This is this is that. Yes, sometimes you'll have you know don't force them. Just you know, um, work them a little bit. In terms of posability, if you if you, if you can pose him in the chain, where he's like on the chains, you can do that. Um, if you got the chains or if you just buy some chains online, you definitely can do that. Uh, but overall, Splinter is an okay figure. It's one of those figures. Where I honestly feel like this one's not going to sell out as quickly. Now, the funny thing is that NECA did come out and say that they made plenty of turtles for everybody. And that's just not the case. Because, like, I literally have gone online and I cannot find them for the original price. Um, so websites have them online they're on their website. Like, I think um, there's a couple uh, online retailers like Amazon and stuff like that that are selling them. Uh, GameStop still shows them on their website. But they are sold out, and I have called GameStop, and they said they are not restocking. There is no restock for these. 
or for the, the original turtles. So in turn, so if you miss out on the original turtles, they're supposed to be doing a re-release uh, with some different variations later this year. So if you miss out on the turtles, um, definitely want to pick up Splinter. Um, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost one of those things where it's like, you know what? Maybe you should wait until it kind of drops in price a little bit, like maybe on clearance. But I don't think that'll ever happen. I really don't. Um, I've rarely seen any Necro figures. Yeah, before. I mean, it's it's you might you might. I, mean, I, I think Necro's one of those companies where they realize if something's not selling, they're just gonna stop doing it. Yeah, so Splinter, I don't know. He 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 doesn't have very good. He can't sit. He can't stand. Um, if you buy like a chair, like one of those like little chairs, you can probably sit him in the chair or like do the little table scene, or you can chain him up against a you know chain him up like he's chained up and captured. But beyond that. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this figure, and this is the new I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna give this. I'm honestly gonna give this figure a C, a C grade in terms of its mobility, opposability, and display factor is pretty low. It's still a nice figure. Uh, the mouth not opening is kind of a bummer for me, but then again, I don't think the turtle mouth opened either. Nope. But I understand why they didn't do it. But the only reason I'm disappointed with this figure, his head does po he does point his head upwards. He does move his head upwards. He cannot go down. Uh, my only uh, the the big thing for me is the pre the fact that they pre-ordered these at oh and his waist does move too not a whole lot because of the restriction of the cloth but you can move his waist was the original being thirty five dollars uh, I mean it, it's twenty five dollars now but even for as much little as it has in mobility twenty five dollars is a little much for me to pay so definitely um, if you if you have the turtles you probably want to get them but if you don't have the turtles would probably I would probably wait on you guys. Uh, that's your fault, not mine. Alrighty. So Master. let's Shredder. look at Master Shredder. Shredder is super cool. I am actually looking forward to the Super Shredder figure. Um I could I would get Super Shredder on, on its own. Fairs, New York Toy Fairs this weekend. Oh is, uh, bring so in. for oh, I know right for accessories we have his staff, which is the staff he used to fight against the turtles in the final fight in the first film. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. Um, what I think is interesting, I'm not going to pull them out here because it's just a pain in the butt. But there are his hands. I find it interesting that they gave him two different sets of hands with his spikes on them. Now, I know in the, in the comic, in the cartoon, and all the iterations of Shredder, he's had his claw in both hands. But in the first movie, he only had it on one hand. I'm almost 100% sure. Leave me a comment down below, guys, and let me know if I was wrong or not. He also comes with a knife. I'm not sure about the knife. I'm trying he, to remember no, he when had, he used the knife. It was actually when he was trying to fight. The splinter knocked his staff away. That's right, you're right. And then he was going after it. He went for the knife, and he knocked it away. That's right. And that's when he said that you, when you die, it will be without honor. That's right. That's right, he did throw the knife. Okay, so... Let's look at Shredder. Now, actually, he has his... This is the accurate. In terms of the, uh, the hand... Face, the face mask... Uh, the face mask is a... Off. This does come off. And I was gonna. I was wondering about that, too. I don't know if the whole helmet comes off. No, not. the whole helmet is actually stuck on his head. But let's go ahead and let's... Uh, oops, let me... Enhance. Enhance. There we go. So there is his face. That is a super detailed face. It even has the claw marks from when Splinter. Splinter sliced him. So, and then I also really like the uh, how they have like the fencing. I don't know if that's actual fencing in there or if they painted it. Let me zoom in. Let me focus it. Focus. Focus. Yeah, you guys can see it there. I'm not really sure if they actually. Um, painted that in there if it's just actual plastic but yeah um so the face mask goes in and it's kind of goofy how it goes in there it doesn't really it fits in there but i don't feel like it fits on there properly i feel like there's got to be a click on there but anyways um i'm not gonna keep playing around with that i'm gonna take it off so okay so his head his head technically does a three 360 spin but i'm not it, it's difficult because of his shoulder blades. Shoulder oh, blades are... Shoulder blades. See, got blades on the shoulder. Oh, right. <laughs> he does look down. Um, he technically can look backwards, but because of the helmet, he can't. 
But the figure is is just like all the other figures. Uh, waist, turns. I thought you said he had a cape. It's in the fucking box. Oh, it was in the back of the box. Okay. Yeah, he does have the cape. Um, Only oh, Shredder can get around with what? Zebra? Tiger? Zebra? Tiger? Okay, so for leg mobility, that's about all he has. Um, they don't go back. I like the glitter. I like I like how it's painted. It's I mean, actually really nice. In all seriousness, you go up to that guy with a bunch of blades on his hand, blades on him. That you're like, hey, dude, you look like a sissy with all that glitter. Right? No. No. Um, no for f okay. So again, here is where I'm having an issue. Oh, hey. Where the arm does not want to move on its own. It's very tight. This is extremely tight, guys. So I'm gonna be very careful with this, so I don't want to break it because we just got these, and that would suck. But yeah, he does. Now, let's look at the cape here. Now, this is actually really cool. I really like this. And it really, yeah. Does it, it have it, a... It, clips in the, it has clips on it. Where are the clips at? Oh, I see them. That's kind of... So... So, it clips on just, like, over his shoulder blades. Oh, don't... They don't really... Oh, do they clips together? Yes. Oh, I see. It clips well, together. How else are you going to put a cape on? Well, it wasn't... It actually didn't clip on like that. It just kind of folded over. So, you can do the whole... And it has wires on the edge of it, so you can actually kind of pose it, you know... Like, you know, like... Whoosh. So, you know, he can be... Whoosh. Um... So yeah, um, the only my only my only complaint with this figure so far is the face mask. It's yeah. nice, but it doesn't. There he goes. And I think, yeah, there one. he goes. I got it in. Okay, I was just putting it in wrong. Okay, so uh, that's shoulder. What she said. Uh, feet. And that's why this articul video is not for un <laughs> Feet articulation is terrible. But the joints are there, but then again, it probably needs to get some heat on it to loosen it up. It's which cold, is it's cold in the Midwest. It's cold in the Midwest, so um, it's I, I really like it. It's a really really cool figure. I might I might pick up Shredder. Shredder I might pick Shredder I would Shredder I would definitely pick up. I think he is definitely worth the twenty five dollars. Yeah, he's definitely worth the twenty five dollars. <coughs> definitely definitely worth it. So yeah, and he does, he does uh, sort of stand. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. So he's got the uh, NECA um, feet figure, stand. figure stands. Um, he sort of stands in there. <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Um, he's a little top heavy. There we go. So there he goes. I know it's an overhead view, guys. Um, again, we're working on the uh, unboxing area. I haven't really done one at this setup yet, so it's been kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. In case, it would... In case I was wondering, no, Splinter's not wearing anything under his robe. Nope, nope, he's not. So, overall, I'm going to give Shredder an A. He's not anatomically correct, so <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give. I was gonna give Shredder a B, simply because of his feet articulation not really being there. But he has it. But it's again, he has double joints in the ankles and knees. Dude. But the problem is, is like right there, it's really tight, and that you just have to heat it up. So I'm not gonna knock any points it's, off of there. If you work, if you work slowly with it, yeah, don't force it, you're good. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. The hands. And, the hands uh, are cool. Splinter's tail also moves. And it's, yep. It's uh, wired. Yeah. It's a wire. It's a wired tail. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give. I am gonna give Shredder an A. Um, this was a really good figure. Uh, they really captured and, uh, the look of but, Shredder. I feel. They really. They really captured the and, look. And Splinter now stands. Splinter can. Yeah. He. He technically can stand. Yeah. He. Mr. J worked his magic and. Just, he, I he worked his tail, yo. He worked his tail, yo. Um, Shredder technically can stand on his own. You oh. just kind of have to finesse it, and then I knock Shredder over. I knock Splinter over. Now Splinter won't stay. Okay. So. Click on the comments down below. Tell us who your favorite turtle is. So yeah, he's really cool. I I, I like it. 
So we'll put Splinter off to the side over here. Get a shredder. And put that back in the box. All right. I am only going to go over one foot soldier because they're both the same. But well, we will they, we will they, look at the accessory. Oops, I just ripped the box. It's okay. You know you're going to take it out of the box. All right, so we're going to look at... We'll look at this one. So here's the accessories. Uh, he comes with a sword. They... Honestly, the foot soldiers come with a lot of accessories. A lot Again, of accessories. Comic Con once had the... Uh, um... What call it? They come with different hands. They come with two different sets of well, three sets of hands. Ones that are on that are fist, and then there's like kind of open hands, and then kind of closed hands with the holes. Uh, looks like there's another cloth, so no, you can change like the back, back of his bandana. bandana. Uh, he know, the San Diego compound ones came with uh, weapons racks, so you could actually put those weapons on racks. All right. Um, so he's got two sides, and he's got a battle. Rack? Oh, uh, I think I don't know if those were things when they used to go. But shoot those! No. Yeah. I so don't know, I think those were those. But no, one of them is bladed weapons. The other is uh, melee weapons. And then so we've got one, because I got, I had to get the one with the nunchucks so I could you know put up a scene where it's possibly you know, yeah. What is oh yeah? One is made blade weapons. One is blade weapons. So this one comes with uh, night six uh, nunchucks. So here's one nunchuck with the chain, and one with the. Uh, yeah. Like, just kind of wire. The the chain one is actually more accurate to what Michelangelo had. Again, same hands. Uh, basically, we'll take him. Oh, and this one comes with a stick. Or a bow, I guess. Here, just take this one out. Here. Okay, so. All right, so he's got one out. All right, so here is the foot soldier. So. All right, so in terms of articulation. Again, same thing we've talked about, guys. The joints are super stiff. You just warm them up or just sit there and just work them. Work them. And you can eventually get them um, to come out. Um, I've seen some crazy poses on Instagram of these guys. So they can be posed. I love the detail of the, on the helm on the, of, the, of the face. Look at the detail, guys. That is amazing detail. That is amazing. That is so accurate to the movie. But again, I mean, they're, and then again, the back of the bandana that pops out for the other bandana. Um, in terms of detail of the figure, uh, this, it looks like cloth, but I don't think that's cloth. No, it is cloth. He has a cloth belt. Uh, the rest of it's plastic, hand-painted. These are hand-painted figures. I mean, that's the reason why these take so long to come out, and they have limited quantity, because these are hand-painted. Um, I'm assuming the originals are. I'm, I'm assuming they're still mass-produced, but... But yeah, it is hand painted. So, and the reason I say hand painted is because this folds, this foot soldier, why being exactly the same as the other one, might have a little bit different paint scheme. Maybe a little bit of paint, different paint scheme. But yeah, I really like this figure. Um, I'm gonna give the foot soldiers uh, also give them an A, because I mean, while I think it'd be super expensive the the soldier these things, and Mr. J just like drops all his stuff everywhere. Uh, I, th I think these would cost it's a lot of money to, to soldier these things. Like, if you want to do, like, a fight scene with, like, five or... Even, like, five or six of these would cost a lot of money. I mean, because these are these are literally... It's 50 bucks for two. So, four foot soldiers would be 100 bucks. However... So, yeah. that's a lot of money. So, yeah. So, I really like I really like the foot soldiers. Um, I don't know if I would pick one up. This is debated. I originally decided to plan not to, but I had a, had a... He has a spending problem. No, I... Look, I... <laughs> in denial. Leave a comment down below if you think Mr. J's in denial. <laughs> you have a bunch no. of comments saying, yeah, he's in denial. Look at all his stuff he has. And then they go, wait, that's 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 the Armadillo stuff. Oh, well, you have a problem. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Of uh, the new, uh, this is the new wave. This is wave two of the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, figures. Uh, the fact that these are exclusive to GameStop kind of upsets me because it really, because GameStop is really bad at keeping things in stock. They are really bad. Let's be honest. We all know that. But the fact that they actually had them on release date, they actually had them out early. We actually were down there and they actually had a shredder on the shelf. That if we hadn't have said nothing, I probably could have bought it. 
and he wouldn't have said nothing. But yeah, because they're street, they were street dated for Saturday. For Saturday, the fifteenth. The fifteenth, and yeah, the, again the head moves around three three sixty spin, so that's cool, you know. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Did you pick these figures up? What are, What are your thoughts? Do you think I was too harsh in my review of Splinter? Do you think I should have gave him a higher grade than a C? Um, do you think I maybe should have given Shredder a B? Um, do you think the Foot Soldiers should have got a C for being generic? I mean, it's still a good figure. I mean, are they generic? Yes, they're generic figures. Um, okay. Their weapons are generic. But it's, really, it's hand-painted. It's really good. I'm going to give it an A. You know? Uh, Nick has, so far, has been doing a really good job with this line. I'm really impressed with it. I'm and just going to say, any of the, a lot of their figures that they've done are impressive. I may not be into everything that they do, but, uh, you know, they're, you know, nice figures. Yeah, they're really good. So, anyways, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And until next time, stay nerdy.